salutations everyone and thank you for watching episode 39 of diabeticradio.com first off i would like to wish all of my friends and uh, supporters a very happy uh, mother's day and um, this episode is really about a metaphor uh, when i was younger my uh, elders always used to talk about a saying and that saying is don't put a tiny band-aid on a huge gaping wound now, um, in my blog, I always try to stress the fact that diabetes is a very complex disease. It is more than just staying away from candy, as so many non-diabetics seem to think. Once you discover that you are diabetic, you will realize that diabetes often um, really is several diseases. It's not just one disease. It's really several diseases and conditions. And um, depending on how well you, you've you controlled your sugar or how long, rather, your sugars has been out of control, diabetes can also be a progressive disease. So putting a band-aid, uh, a tiny band-aid on a big gaping wound really is geared towards the diabetics who are always looking for a quick fix or a quick way out rather than dealing with the core issue, which is not controlling your blood sugars and I think we so underestimate um, the the devastation that um, sugars can cause so rather than putting that band-aid on how about trying to figure out you know why is it or how was it that you got that wound in the first place so that you can try to prevent yourself from um, getting that wound again over and over and over again. Um, you know, there's a subject that no one really wants to talk about, and I, I, this is a good one. You know, um, first of all, I, I want to say that diabetes is not an inconvenience. It's a real disease that has to be controlled and managed every little single day. And I know that we as diabetics, we have burnouts and we are entitled to get, have burnouts. But the important thing is, is that we get back on a horse, as I've always said, and you ride that horse to continued um, glucose management. So, the problem that I wanted to talk about is ED. A lot of men don't want to talk about ED, but it is an important subject. And also, I would like to say that not every man who has diabetes will have ED. Um, and if you do, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's because you're diabetic. It could be because of medication that you may or may not be taking. What is ED? Erectile dysfunction. Now, it's important to understand why you have erectile dysfunction. When you have high blood sugars for X amount of years really um, sugar affects your um, circulation and, and the blood flow throughout your body so if you're not having good blood flow then you're not going to have good libido or it'll be just totally lost so the point is is that a lot of uh, the male diabetics, rather than knowing that they have uncontrolled blood sugars, they would rather take another pill like Viagra onto the already big list of medications that you may or may not be taking already, rather than dealing with the core reason why you have may or may not have ED or you know um, any other conditions that you may have, is because the blood sugars are not being controlled. You have to make that connection between ED or any other um, diabetic complication with your blood sugars. If you can't control your blood sugars, you're going to have problems. Okay? Don't try to put that tiny little band aid on that big wound because. You know, you, 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 you may have that Viagra, it may help you a little bit, but you still have those uncontrolled blood sugars. And if you don't ha uh, control those blood sugars, you're going to have a bigger problem later on than just your ED. Um, our diabetes is not an inconvenience. It's a real disease. 
It's a real disease that you have to control. It's not something that you can pray away. It's not something that you can do positive thinking and it'll go away. Once you have diabetes, it is there to stay. You have to deal with it. And you have to do, along with your doctor, whatever it is that you need to do to get your blood sugars under control. Another situation um, that's not really diabetic related, but it's it's on the same subject of, you know, your body, your diabetes or your condition not being an inconvenience. It's a real condition. And that is, I was looking at a commercial one day and um, I forgot the name of the, the medication, but it was some medication that was made for women to uh, to help them stop having their period for you know every four months or something like that now i said to myself what are you kidding you know the reason why a woman first of all has her period is to purify herself so if you so if you take something to stop that process of purification you don't think that you risk all kinds of problems by not having you know, your period, that's like someone taking a medication to stop, you know, moving your bowels for a month, you know, and, you know, well, actually, probably before the month, you'll probably be dead, you know, but, you know, there's a reason why your body has these processes, so that it can purify itself and keep the body healthy, instead of finding all these things dangerous drugs which have all kinds of side effects and most of them haven't been tested long enough and then you have to take more drugs to counteract the side effects of the first drug deal with the core issue your blood sugar your blood sugar I can imagine with oh my goodness I can't imagine what woman would be crazy enough to take a drug like that you know not to mention you know the the hormonal Things that are going crazy in her in, in her body, causing her blood sugars to go haywire. We need to deal with the core issues. You have to. Because if not, you are going to be dealing with a bigger problem as you get older. The 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 point is is not you, you need to take care of your blood sugars not so much to quote unquote live longer but to increase your quality of life so that as we age we can grow old as gracefully as we possibly can so that we can grow old with the least amount of issues so that we can be independent and we can do things for ourselves without having the assistance or uh, of another person or being solely dependent on someone else to do things for you let me tell you something um, when I when I was temporary blonde and I was going through all that you may be surprised on how many people who don't care about you or who don't understand what you're going through and the kinds of craziness that is happening in these hospitals, in these doctor's office, it is for you to keep yourself as healthy as you possibly can so that you can grow old as gracefully as you possibly can. Sometimes, unfortunately, there are those moments where we really have to take medication. You know, I stopped taking all my medication. The only ones that I take currently now is um, Simvastatin for cholesterol. Unfortunately, I have to take that. Um, tried doing it with diet. I ate vegan for a good three, four months, and my cholesterol still went up. So, unfortunately, you know, um, I have to do it. You know, um, that's why they always tell you when diet and exercise is not enough. Sometimes you have to take that medication. It doesn't mean that you failed. It doesn't mean that you did anything bad. It's just, in my case, my body was producing too much cholesterol. By the way, you don't necessarily need um, a food to have cholesterol, to get cholesterol. Your body produces its own cholesterol. 
but for some people genetically some people overproduce cholesterol which is bad so you sometimes you have to take medications to help your body reduce the amount of cholesterol that it produces you know so you have to also keep your mind open to that but my point is is that don't go seeking for all that stuff because you know you could be causing greater problems for yourself um, later on in life so um, I'm sorry for babbling but uh, I hope this podcast has been really helpful to you and um, again I wish all my friends and supporters a very wonderful and happy Mother's Day and safe Mother's Day and it really really makes me feel good to bring these videos to you and and to to you know leave something of myself behind and to teach people what I have gone through so remember to love yourself to know yourself take five minutes every day to meditate on yourself so that you can know what to do for yourself to know how to control your life and not allow the external forces around you try to tell you who you are and what you need to do you take that power in your hands and control your destiny for yourself thank you so much for watching bye bye